In this video, let's learn about the Tower of Hanoi problem. Tower of Hanoi is a mathematical puzzle where we have three rods and a number of disks of various diameters. The objective of the puzzle is to move the entire stack to the last rod, obeying the following rules. Only one disk may be moved at a time. Each move consists of taking the upper disk from one of the stacks and placing it on top of another stack or an empty rod. And lastly, no disk may be placed on top of a disk that is smaller. Let's begin by understanding the idea behind the solution. For that, we are going to visually solve the problem when the number of disks is 2 and number of disks is 3. Let's start with 2. You can see that we have 3 rods named A, B and C. On rod A, we have 2 disks. Now how would we move the disks from A to C, ensuring none of the rules are broken? Well, here is how. First, move the smaller disk to B, that is the topmost disk. Next move the larger disk to C. Finally, move the smaller disk from B to C. Although we don't have a pattern yet, I want you to keep in mind the following steps. First, we shift n-1 disks from A to B. We then shift the last disk from A to C. Finally, we shift n-1 disks from B to C. If you've understood this well, Let's do the same exercise when the number of disks is 3. I have the steps from the previous slide on the bottom right for reference. As you can see, we have the same three rods A, B and C. Begin by shifting the smallest disk from A to C. Next, shift the medium sized disk from A to B. Next, move the smallest disk at this point, we have shifted n-1 disks from A to B. Step 2. Shift the last disk from A to C. Let's move it. Third and final step. Shift n-1 disks from B to C with the help of A. So shift the smallest disk to A. Shift the medium disk to C. And finally, the smallest disk to C. Hopefully, you're able to understand how to go about solving the problem. Our code is going to be an implementation of the three steps that you see here. And we will be using recursion. If you would like to try solve the problem, please pause the video. Let's discuss the solution together in the next video.